What's up guys, it's your boys Wolkie back out with another Fortnite video for Chapter 3, Season 3 that just hit the store, or not hit the store, but hit the new world of Fortnite. We're going to be taking a look at everything when it comes to the new map, new weapons, new villain possibly, I don't know what, who it is, but we're going to be taking a look at everything in there. Chug Splashes are back, uh, we have these new rolling rocks, obviously from Indiana Jones, there's tons of, Tilted Towers is being rebuilt. Dilly Bugle, for some reason, is still there. I thought that would have been gone with this new season. But we're going to be taking a look at everything right now on here. Besides the Battle Pass, that's in a different video. Actually, I already posted. Link will be down in the description for you guys to take a look at that Battle Pass. Super cool Battle Pass. But this is the map changes and everything that's in there right now. Ballers are back as well. I'm super excited. So, with that being said, grab a chair, guys, and popcorn as we take a look at the new Fortnite Chapter 3, Season 3. Vibin' right now. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Smack that bell icon next to it so that I do post videos like this one. You'll get that little ring notification that's Wolke myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I thank you guys so very much for the continued love and support you show on this channel every single day. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Tell the friends and the family or anybody you guys know and we'll grow even more in 2022. But with that being said, you're here for one reason and it's obviously... What is in the world of Fortnite for Chapter 3, Season 3, a.k.a. Vibin? Obviously, we took a look at the trailer. We took a look at the Battle Pass trailer. Everything that's in there, possibly some type of villain is in there. There's going to be a lot of things that change over time in the season. The season is going from now till September 17th. There was rumors that it would go until October, but I guarantee that new season that's coming out in September is going to be pretty much horror and Halloween themed um, from September 3rd until the beginning of December. But that's a whole nother ballpark we're going to talk about. But the block will be coming back, or the or files have showed that it might be coming back in Tilted Towers. If you guys don't remember the block, that was back in Chapter 1, where pretty much people were able to create creations, and they threw it in the world of Fortnite, which was definitely pretty cool. I definitely missed that. Um, it was never back in Chapter 2. I uh, Also, there's a, the shark from ch Chapter 2 from the, what was it, the Shadow base that's in the world of Fortnite again it's it's in a different spot um but we already know about the new character Geno we got a glimpse of him before uh the end of the season live event that happened so we got a glimpse of it before the foundation and Jonesy aka the legend went inside in the zero point which right now the zero point is completely exposed or exposed it's underneath the water where the the collider used to be so that's definitely not good that it's exposed. Also, with getting a Victory Royale, you guys will get this Battle Bloom umbrella. It definitely looks pure awesome. I definitely can't wait to win a um, Battle Royale and get that to my um, Victory Royale umbrellas. The map itself, you guys can see right here, it has, it has changed somewhat significantly. Um, pretty much where the foundation statue is, that's all changed. The beach is pretty much vibing for the summer kind of feels and stuff like that. Um, the location where the visitor is at, where th you see all those rockets, that a lot of stuff that has been IO related is completely wiped out, but spray painted galore, graffiti, everything has been taken over by the vibe and feel. Obviously, um, the place where what was it? The the collide, not the collider, but. It was where the, pretty much the I.O. headquarters was at. That is completely overthrown and overtaken by this graffiti thing. There's a roller coaster in there. There's wind tunnels back again. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at that um, here very shortly. Um, the battle bus has come back like so. This is the only image I could find right now. Um, <coughs> sorry about the cough, Gary, guys. <clears throat> but this truck has been graffiti-fied or gra gra graffiti I'm losing the words there. Graffiti fied. Um, there's trucks that I'm going to show you here in a second that are completely sh splattered with graffiti. And it's definitely kind of a cool vibe and sort of like that. Um, obviously, we have some new guns, but we're going to take a look at a thing that I'm not so sure if I want to come to the world of Fortnite because it's almost a revamped reversion of the Spider Man um, mythic. But this one is a grapple glove. Um, pretty much, you, you swing around and you. It's like Spider-Man Mythics all over again. I liked them in the beginning, but then they just got to, too overdone. 
Um, but I guess we'll see what happens with the, these uh, grapple guns. They're not in the world of Fortnite right now. Um, I haven't seen them quite yet, but they will definitely make their debut here soon. Apparently, the Chug Splash, I couldn't find it. I'm guessing it's probably in the Loot Llamas, which are still there available. But they're, I haven't seen it, but have uh, some people have found the Chug Splashes again. We have two new or three new guns, a DMR, a Hammer Assault Rifle, and a two-shot shotgun, which I'll show you in the world of Fortnite 2. But the stats here, you guys can see, this is the Hammer Assault Rifle. I was kind of shocked at how bulky this was, but, but it does show a Mythic version, so that definitely leaves me to believe we'll definitely be getting Mythic weapons again, kind of like when we had Sloan's... Um, Og weapon. There's been rumors that we'll be getting a Darth Vader mythic lightsaber um, because you can't have Darth Vader and not have light, have a lightsaber because we don't have lightsaber pickaxes yet, which is come on. I wish we had them, but we don't have them yet. But you guys can see here, this is all the the stats for each and every version. Um, the DMR, well, we'll take a look at the DMR last, but the two shot shotgun, it's definitely interesting. Thank God it's not going to be the DMR or the, the drum shoddy, that was ridiculous. Um, the drum shoddy, I do believe, the drum shoddy, let's see which one weapons, I know which weapons got vaulted. The MK7 did get vaulted, which is kind of sad. That was one of my favorite weapons. The DMR, or not the DMR, the, okay, the drum shotgun got vaulted. Thank the Lord, I am so tired. 90% of the time, I, I lost in Fortnite because of the stupid drum gun, shotgun. The thermal AR, the thermal floppers, the LMG um, have all been vaulted, including the MK7 has been vaulted. Apparently now, if you stay in the storm too long, cumulatively, in a match, you will develop a storm sickness. Um, this will accelerate the storm's decay of your health over time, so don't stay in the storm too long now. So it's even worse now if you are going to be in the world of um, Fortnite in the storm. So make sure you guys don't stay in there too long and get to circle and not wor worry about that storm. Um, because I know there's a lot of people that will hug that storm and stay in the storm sometimes just to get a kill, which is ridiculous. But um, last but not least, or we have the two-shot shotgun, which I forgot here. You guys can see right here, it shoots... Two shots, obviously. Um, the first one is on the top. Second one is on the bottom. Um, it's kind of almost like the dragon's breath, but without the four shots and the fire. Um, it's definitely not a bad shotgun, but I can see this being pretty powerful in certain hands with being 60 damage right off the bat in a blue version. Um, but you guys can see here, it's got a mythic ability, which I'm kind of shocked again that they have these uh, mythic abilities because that means somebody's going to be holding it and they're, everybody's going to want to have that um, different mythic ability. Last but not least is the DMR, which I was kind of shocked to see. It's a version of a snipe, obviously a sniper rifle, but when I think of DMR, I think of Warzone and being a spray kind of weapon. It's almost like that other sh um, the Dragnoff um, kind of sniper rifle. It shoots pretty clean. It shoots pretty decent. Um, doesn't have too much kick, but you guys can see the stats right here. The hammer assault rifle, though, that kicks like a mofo. So just be aware that one's definitely going to be one to uh, use and try um, significantly. They do have the, the not the heavy assault, the, yeah, the heavy assault rifle, um, not the hammer assault rifle, but that one is in there as well. The subs are still there. Um, still the sprays are, are um, the spray health thing is there. Um, not too much different. I wish they would have had a different healable. Um, I mean, we can't be too picky about this. I'm still kind of shocked that the Daily Bugle is still there. I thought for some reason, some way, that would have been changed in this version um, or this new season, and nothing has changed over there. So, Or not even spray paint, nothing. So with that being said, we're going to go over to my Twitch screen and take a look at the world of Fortnite. We're going to take a look at the baller. We're going to take a look at the new locations, the rift, or what they call it, the Rift Tree, or it's called the, I can't remember what it's called, but we'll go in there and figure out what, what it's called. Um, definitely a lot of cool things that are there, and let's go over there and take a look. So this is where I'm at, guys. I am actually where the, the, um, the zero point is at currently at the moment. But you guys can see here, this is kind of the truck that you guys can get. Now, I love the graffiti. I love all that stuff. That's kind of cool. So in my hand, I have the or the hammer assault rifle. You guys can see right now, if I shoot, 
it's not bad on accuracy, but it definitely kicks. So make sure you guys get that controlled um, if you guys are going to use it. You guys can see the DMR. Shoots pretty good. It kicks as well, so make sure you guys get those shots on point. And then last but not least is the shoddy, which is not too bad of a shotgun. I definitely enjoy it, how it's loaded and sort of like that. The grapple gun apparently will be found in these kind of chests, um, or not these chests, but the toolboxes. Um, so note that, but you guys can see this is the location where the collider used to be. And if we go right over top, you guys can see the zero point sitting cradled underneath the water. You guys can't go to it, but it's underneath that water. So we're going to go over to said mountain now where you guys can see the cuddle leader building that they have created. Um, so I will uh, meet you over there. So another cool thing on the way to there I wanted to show you guys. You guys see these boulders right here? If you shoot the bottom of it like so, it will drop it and let that ball roll down the hill like Indiana Jones, which is kind of a cool thing. It's kind of like these trees where you shoot the bottom of the tree and they fall over. So they can possibly do damage. They're probably going to go in the direction of if you see somebody at the top there and you shoot the rock, it'll probably grab it towards that person. But it's kind of a cool thing to add to the world of Fortnite. The drill location has been completely destroyed. Obviously, if you guys watched the live event, the mech totally annihilated that drill. And now the drill sits there like so as almost a coyote or not coyote. Speaking of coyote, you guys can ride these now. Uh, I'm not going to find out quite yet, but um, but the, yep, this is where the drill is. And uh, let's take a look at the other part. So guys, you can see here, obviously the ballers are back. Wind tunnels are back as well. The cool thing is you, you can shoot these. Somebody says if you shoot those, they would, they would turn off, but apparently they lied. Uh, might be cap, but you guys can get in the baller. Instead of it being a complete where you can drive it all the time, instead of fuel, it's powered by electricity. So I don't know how that's going to work about recharging it, what have you, but it works off by electricity. But if you go onto the track like so, you do not have to hold it at all, and it just lets you go on this little trip. So we're going to take this little trip together and just watch the scenery. You guys can see we're going through a peely little building. We have a fire tube. Drops you down. Like, literally, you don't have to drop anything or drive this thing. We're going to go through the cavern. This is like a party galore in here. Party, party everywhere. Party, party everywhere. Got some people doing disco down there. It's like literally a party central area now. I love that they brought the turbines back. I love the co colors. It's definitely pretty cool. The vault hasn't opened quite yet, so we don't know what's going on with that yet. Apparently, the, the shadow uh, bro and the ghost bro are back in there, uh, which I'll show you later on. But see, you can take the roller coaster or you can take that slipstream. So you have two different ways of getting on these kind of tracks and so forth. But I thought this roller coaster thing was kind of cool. And then we're in this little turbine. And we're going to go up to the color team leader head. But see, again, I'm not even not even doing it. So it's kind of cool. So we're going to go into this cuddle team leader head, which where this was where the satellite was for the IO. Going to the top, you guys can see there's more ballers in here. There's a couple launch pads to get out of here if you need to. So you guys can see where we're at right now. And then we're going to drop all the way down. Woo! So it's a pretty, pretty cool little, little spot over here to enjoy on. Um, we have some type of plane that we're going to go through the back end to the front, which was kind of cool. And then we're going to drop through here again. I just think this is kind of cool. This place is completely changed, obviously.
I just enjoy this a lot. This is kind of fun just to sit here and go through this. And then we are going to be back where we started. You can still use the grapple, um, which is on the little the plunger. But now we're going to go over to the other lo new location, which is all the way down here, where Greasy Grove is pretty much gone. Uh, I can't remember what exactly was here. Um, oh, Cuddle. Uh, Camp Cuddle. Camp Cuddle is gone. Camp Cuddle is no more. Um, but we're going to go over there and take a look at all the that new tree, the Tree of Life. Kind of looked like something from uh, Avatar, but we'll take a look at that here right now. So coming through here, just it's really peaceful. I kind of like the, the feel in here. Um, just a whole bunch of purple trees and gigantic mushrooms. And then we have this, I think they call it the the rift tree. I can't remember what they call it offhand. Um, let me see. They call it the re reality tree, um, which is kind of cool. So if we get out, the cool thing about this is that we'll leave the baller here. You can jump on these little mushrooms that are highlighted and they let you bounce. I think you can do it over and over and over. Yeah, but it's kind of cool that they, they highlight so you know where exactly they are um, just in case you need to get a quick getaway. Um, apparently underneath this waterfall over here, if I come over here to show you guys, those brothers that I just told you about, um, the shadow brother and the ghost brother, they're behind these rocks. It has like five billion um, health I can find it where is it at right here they're behind this so if you I don't know if it's live yet it doesn't look like it's live yet but if you start hitting this it will be like five billion damage or health bar see they're digging Do you hear them? Apparently that's what they're digging right now to get out of that location and start uh, going all over the place again like they did back in chapter one and, and chapter two. So you can go through here the water, obviously. Kind of cool little spot to go through. But the cool thing is this reality tree you can actually go into. <coughs> um, the windmills also that used to be down at the bottom left of the map are no more. They used to be down here. They're gone. No more windmills, no more any of that stuff anymore. But you can go up this tree, and also this tree is throughout the whole wor the world of Fortnite. So I was actually over like in this area, and I saw roots from this reality tree. So which was kind of interesting that the roots are all over the place. But it gives you that kind of tree of life kind of feel. Um, let's go back up there. I hit the wrong tunnel there. But it's kind of cool to come here. I know this place is going to be a hot drop, hot commodity, and so forth like that. Uh, but you get to the top, not that one, this way. <laughs> I need to fall out again. But you guys can see this little location. Just cool to be up here. Um, away from the sand dunes and stuff like that. That you guys can see the foundation statue over there, which will be there in a second. But it's just kind of cool if you guys go over here. It, they shoot you up significantly. Which is kind of cool, like this. So, a good way to traverse over the world of Fortnite. Um, we have some more mushrooms. And the cool thing is, is they brought the chair back from Chapter 1. Um, which I thought was kind of cool. So, if you guys can see over here, this chair is back from Chapter 1. Um, I was shocked to see this when I was kind of going through here and seeing everything. But they brought the chair back, the iconic chair. More rocks all over the place. So if you shoot them, like so. They start rolling away and start going after some people um, if they're anywhere around here. But I'll meet you over to the next part that I'm going to show you here now. We also have some Dusty Depot kind of looking buildings over here. There's a couple that are going to be over there too as well, which is kind of cool. And of course, the shark from Chapter 2 um, is in here from the... I can't remember if it's the ghost or the shadow... But the shark head is here now, which was kind of cool, a little touch. My son didn't see it, but I saw it, but that was kind of cool. Another cool way to tra traverse the map is these hot springs, where you just kind of go over to it and you kind of fly around and, and stuff like that. And now we're going to go to Greasy Grove. We got some, we got a little far or mushroom farm there. Greasy Grove has been completely overtaken 
buy mushrooms. If you guys go to the taco store or to the taco restaurant, <laughs> it's been completely taken over by mushrooms. Um, it's kind of cool, but it just shows that Greasy Grove was not a hot drop. Um, that's probably why they messed with it as the way that they did. But now the mushroom or the taco stand is literally on top of a mushroom. The basement is completely flooded, as you guys can see. And the whole place is just emitting that kind of avatar, jungly themed, as you will. Or kind of like um, uh, the aliens. Um, but you guys can see all in here. It's just pretty much engulfed in that mushroom, amazon -y jungle kind of feel. So the cool thing is I just found a wolf to tame. Uh, it was pretty easy. Once you throw some meat in front of it, it just uh, pretty much was all... You just go into the back of it, and it starts letting you ride it. It's not as fast as, obviously, a car would be, but it's kind of cool that we can start riding these. Hopefully, in the future, we'll get to ride the dinosaurs and the raptors and possibly see some other dinosaurs come. The sad news um, is I don't think Clombos will be making a return anytime soon. There's been uh, leaked images of Clombos' skeleton that have showed that the skeleton has died. I don't know if you can go in water. Oh, you can swim. Oh, you can actually go faster. Maybe they'll have horses in the future. Man, he can run for quite a while. He can jump. Man, he can he can run for quite a while. That's interesting. But we're going to go to the foundation statue and show you what's over there. So you guys can see here now I'm on, on the beach down by um, where the foundation statue used to reside. It's still there. But highly painted. Um, it looks like there's a beach party going on here all the time. Um, which is kind of cool. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just completely been vibe and vibe. Is that is that's not even a word? We got some blow-up trees, got a whole bunch of stuff here ready for a party. Um, and then if you also go over to that uh, what's it called? The seven little port where they had the rockets that you could um, do or the rockets that would come out, that is um, been completely painted and stuff like that. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with the 7 and the, the IO. People think that Sloan is dead from the, the live event. I don't think she's dead. I think she will come back, but like with cyborg parts or robotic parts, but I don't think she's dead. But with that being said, that's pretty much everything that's in the world of Fortnite right now that's new. Hopefully the Dale Bugle will see that change or somehow have you but uh i'm surprised it hasn't been changed but with that being said comment down below what you guys think about this new map everything that's coming with the new season and just comment comment down below like the video if you guys enjoyed this and also the new season and uh, we'll see you in the next video so keep it real keep it safe and as always keep nerding on and i'll see you guys next time peace